Hello everyone, welcome to part four of Making a Journal. We ended up yesterday putting this pot on top of the book, so now I'll just lift it off and see where we're at. Oh, that stuck down beautifully. Not a problem. And the inside pages are down too. Okay, and I've got one of my lovely grey hairs sticking there. Pull that out. Alright, so now I'm ready to sew it in. I have gone ahead and threaded my needle off camera because I couldn't stand the thought of you having to watch me fumble around. Okay, now I do this by eye. I don't measure. I'm very naughty that way. I should measure, I know. But I don't. And a bulldog clip to hold everything in place. While I'm piercing and sewing. Ah, bulldog clip's not big enough. Okay, let's try again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's better, I think, I hope. I think I hope and I pray. It's not quite down. That should be right. Okay, using a skinny little awl. That looks to be roughly the middle. And piece all the way through until it comes out the back. And then up about there. Again, until it comes out the back, and one more, because I'm only doing three whole pamphlet, and once again until it comes out the back. Okay, now starting from the inside, we go out through the middle. up to the north of the book, or the top, and it should come out there, yep, down to the south, or the bottom, pulling it firmly, but not so that it's going to tear the pages up, back up through the middle. And we need to have these on different sides because we need to tie down that long stitch from north to south. We need to tie that down. Okay, now because I don't want to prick myself with a needle. Now we're going to do a surgeon's knot. So that's left over right and pull down and then right over left and then over left again so you're going over that left stitch or that left loop twice once oh humble fingers I'm hoping you can see that all right and then pull tightly and that definitely will not come off. I've got a pair of birds out the back doing what birds do to make baby birds and they're pigeons so it's flap flap splat. Ah, <laughs> so noisy. Okay. I don't want them quite that long so I'll tie that off. Then put my needle back into its little folder which is pretty old. I've had this one since since I can't remember. But it's a perfect size for putting crochet thread through, which is what I use to sew my journals with. I've got a little bit rolled onto a couple of pieces of foam. It's fairly thick, so you know that's a, a good size thread to go through journals. 
Okay, now. And I've got, um, I've got to keep an eye on time because I've changed the resolution on my camera and hopefully you'll get a better video from me so that you'll be able to see a little bit more, which will be really awesome. Okay, now let's spend a little bit of time filling in some of these pockets with things that I've already done. Okay, so there's that little booklet that could go in here. Now where I've done this, I put the Joey paper onto the book, if you remember correctly, that's what I did. But I'd left one side untethered and then used my one and a quarter inch whale punch, like this thing, and I've punched out only half, so I've put that into there and done it to halfway, so that it gives me a nice little notch that shows people that I have actually put stuff into that pocket. And if that sticks out from the book, that's okay, because it makes it for pretty. Now, I have something in there, but I can't remember what I had in there, so let's find something to put in there. I'll put the little pretty future thing in there. I don't have anything small enough for that just at the moment, so that's something that we can do, is make a, um, a ticket to put in there. Now that sounds like a nice thing to do right now. I've got this little piece of scrap um, all over my little box of bits. What have I got that I can decorate a ticket with? It's going to go in here. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I've been cutting out little bits and pieces from magazines and books and things and and just popping them into here so that I've got a ready supply of collage materials. So it could, you know, stem from a, as I said, a magazine, a book, a piece of tracing paper, another piece of off cut. That looks pretty cool too, I might use that. Some postage stamp. I think this ticket's going to be a little bit bigger than that pink. So let's re reevaluate my thoughts here. Okay, get rid of that pink. We we'll use the blue. Um, and I think I will make it a fairly big one. I like that. That's pretty. Okay. So, doing a little cheat here. Where did I put those scissors? Anybody see where I put them? Yeah, okay. Good, good. Doing a little bit of a cheat using some double sided tape. I think I'm going to go that way. bit of glue along the edge to make sure that it's held down. Just a little thin bead. Now if you smoosh it to the edges with your finger, it still sticks. It looks like you're wiping away the glue, but you're not actually just spreading it. So if you don't mind getting a little bit dirty on the fingers, it's a great way to spread your glue. And then wipe it off on your mat, rub it in, and it, it beads up and dries very quickly. See how that beads up? Okay, cool, we're halfway there. Now, I didn't bring a cutter out with me, so once again, the eyeballs are pretty good when they're wearing their glasses. And they are at the moment, so that's that's cool. Um, yeah, I'll do a very small peek at the end, I think. There's not really a notch. There's not really a peak either. I don't know. A little diagonal cut, if we're going to get and fancy, which we're not going to. I've got to say I'm quite enjoying this. 
I wasn't sure how I would feel about crafting with the camera going, but it's it's okay. Oh, that's a bit too thin. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, and that's matte so that it can be written on if necessary, if desired. Now, I'm not going to want to put the whole stamp on there, so I think I might just take a little bit off and use that. Oh, that's Adelaide. That's Adelaide Oval. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's right in the middle of our city. Yep, that's good, good, good. Now, let's see if I have unstuck this before I turned the video on. I don't think I did, so we'll just have to wait and see. Come on. There it is, that fine little bead of glue on such a tiny little piece of paper, but that's all you need. That's a huge bead of glue. Let's spread that out a bit. Smush them over there. Okay, I wonder if I've got pliers, not pliers, tweezers in one of my boxes here. Because that's awfully small for these big hands to pick up, and yes, I do. Okay. Awesome. That little bit of a stamp there, so it's collaged. Okay, now I think I need a little something down here, and this I think is going to be perfect. A little bit of it here. where my camera was for a moment and just started tearing in front of myself. I'm trying to tear as straight as I can because I don't need it really, really big. I just need a, a small piece of interest. Yep, that's cool. That's come out of my... Um, car manual book again. I love using odd things and, and weird things for journal making. It's really cool, the things you can get away with, you know, that you can't get away with in scrapbooking. Because with scrapbooking you're archiving stuff and you need it to be archival safe and, you know, all those wonderful terms that you use. And I purposely bent it there so that I wouldn't glue any further down, so that I could do just that, cut that little piece off. Now I'm thinking that I need something else on there, but I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what. Okay, give me a hand here. Yell out, you! I hear you, I hear you. You're not sure either. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That little piece of tracing paper. No. Don't like that much. Oh, darn. Can't put orange. Yuck. Part of a clock? That might work. Okay, we'll do a quick little piece of cutting here. Just take out the face because it really is quite big and I don't need it to cover up the entire section of that. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Yes, 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 I like that. And maybe I can put the little cutoff over here. Yep, that'll work. That will work. Let's use the little one again so I haven't dried it out by leaving the cap off. What part am I gluing? Um, oh gosh. Where four art thou? That's eleven, that's twelve. That side, yeah. It's all right. I'm having um, an issue with my spatial concepts at the minute. I started gluing up the wrong place, so I'll swipe that off. Put it over here. Now this time I will remember to put the cap on because it's starting to get a little bit dried out on the top. Twelve is up there, six is there. Fingers crossed. I think I did it. Yep, that's cool. Sorry, Jojo Binks every now and then comes out to play in my vocabulary. Jojo Binks is a, a character from Star Wars, and that's the order of ah, Wouldn't you know it? Out with the needle, poke it all back in. Stick your tongue out. It helps things go where they're supposed to. Beauty, that worked. Must not put pressure on tweezers, otherwise they will open when not required. Note to self. Put the cap on. We shall place this carefully, not plonking it, we're placing it carefully. Up the top there. I think that is a great little ticket. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, what are we doing? We're putting it in the book, that's right. I get distracted when I create and I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> you know, the end, the end thing is, um, yeah. I, I do think sometimes people, honestly I do, you know, the mind just runs away in 14 different ways. Okay, so I know it's still damp, but we're very carefully going to place it up into that little pocket thingy there. Okay, so that's that page done. We'll work on these at another time. We'll work on that at another time as well. So what I'm interested in doing for this video is just putting a couple of things into a couple of the pockets that I've made. And if we don't get any further than that today, that's fine. We will have achieved something. Okay, that's already pocketed, that's cool. Another one to work on. Oh, here we come. Here we come, here we come, here we come. Now, I had that out in that little area there. Now, in here, we can put another little book. 
let's see if it's going to fit this way or if I have to put a card in there that no that's too bad it's going to stick out too much so I think that we can put a card in here if I've left enough room and I haven't ah oh, fruitcake stuff under here thinking, yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Hmm. It won't do, you know, if you haven't done it right, it won't do. That's the right size, but it's not glued down yet. That's okay, I can do that now, and then that will be us done for the day. Because now that I've increased my resolution on the camera, I need to keep in mind time of the storage on the SD card. I think I'm getting that right. So the higher the resolution, the more you use, apparently. I'm getting a larger SD card from eBay, and that will allow me, allow me to increase my resolutions even more because going by what my son said, this camera is better than I've been giving it credit for. I just need to learn how to use it. I have saved to my computer the manual, because Lord knows where I put that after having had this camera for seven years. I don't know where the manual goes, I've got no idea. Okay, we'll splush some. Using a cut out with the big guns for this. Okay. Use the fingers to spread it, otherwise, you end up with ridges. Magazine pages look absolutely gorgeous, except when they have glue ridges on them. Then they don't look so pretty. On to the pink. holding my tongue in the right place. <laughs> okay. Now, I saw in my little box, I know it's the wrong colour, but I don't really mind for the moment. Let's see if we're going to need it. I think we might do. No, that's fine. But I am going to need to put a little bit of tape on that. A little bit of washi tape, I think. Because otherwise that's going to annoy the, the life out of me, tearing every time I go to use the, the pocket. A little bit of red and white, because I've already got red and white on the page. That's fine by me. Slide you up under there. And burnish it well with your fingers. And make it even. No, I won't even it up. I'll just leave it because I like that look as it is. Okay, that's better. I don't think we need the, the tag on it. We're good, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Let's let's do it. Let's just do it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, and I have a lovely punch that does this for me. It took me ages to find it. And then when I did, I leapt on it because I thought, I'm having that, it's mine. Don't anybody put a bit on it because it's mine. I got very selfish. So it looked a bit like a seagull. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> uh, 
And a little bit of glue on the join and above and below and around. around again. Oh, I forgot to take the covers off. Oh, that's going to be a sticky mess. Oops. Uh, okay, where's my pokey tool? Oh, a little skinny one here. Hopefully that will work. Oh, yes. Good, good, good. Oh, I'm so pleased. So pleased. even happier if the tape would split. That's better. Okay. I love the way I just toss things to one side. I shouldn't really do that. Should I? No, Ruth, you shouldn't. I'll answer you for me. That way I'm not really talking to myself much. Okay. Only a little bit. See, I still didn't quite get the glue smudged enough. It's got little bumpies on the other side, but that's okay. It'll make for texture when journaling. Okay, folks, I've got a little bit of work to do in the background, behind, off the camera. Oh, that's that does make a difference. It does make a big difference. Okay, I like that now. I like that very much. Um. Just thinking, should, no, I won't put anything on it right now. Okay, so we have done the outside cover, the inside covers. We've put some stuff in pockets. And now it's up to me behind the covers, behind the covers, oh, behind the covers, behind the scenes, to do a little bit more busy work and then come back and show you in the next episode. Thanks so much for joining me. I will look forward to chatting with you next time. This is Ruth. Take care.